this song on? Well, I'm going to work on this chicken parmesan hero with extra cheese and extra sauce. And hello and what is up friends and boy do I have a banger video for you guys today I've decided to bring this bad boy out and knock the dust off of it because we're gonna be making a pound in a 2x2 this season and I'm only saying this because last time I used this light I was able to get 14 ounces out of this 2x2 which reminds me i will be giving a hundred dollars via paypal to the first person that puts the link to anybody that has gotten over 13 and a half ounces out of a two by two space the one thing that stood out last time i used this light was definitely how hard the buds were Yeah, good memories. And now friends, the reason why I'm bringing this light out and I'm giving this type of grow another chance is because I'm confident that the strain that I bred last year could definitely yield me that much in this space. Especially now that I'm flowering it for the first time and I'm seeing how beautiful it is. And aside all of the Patreons that have flowered it before me, they gave me really good feedback. So what better way to showcase its true potential than to be putting it in this type of grow? And in order for me to get anywhere near to the weight that I did last time, I would have to replicate that grow as close as possible. So to start with, I had four plants last time, so I chose these four plants to go inside of that tent. Now, these four plants were not started from seed. Instead, I took them as clones from a seed that I chose to use as a mother plant. Now, these four plants are in a three gallon fabric pot. They were taken from the cloner into a one gallon pot where I vegged them for two weeks and then I put them in these three gallon pots, vegged them for another two weeks and here we are today in the middle of week four. And in my opinion for a four week veg they kind of look like they're ready to flower so as soon as I put them inside of this tent I am switching their light cycle to 12-12. And now friends, I've super cropped these plants at least eight to 10 times and I've topped them so far three times. So for the most part, I've been keeping up with the low stress training as well as defoliating and getting those fan leaves out of the way, making sure that the nodes that are coming up are on the top of the plant and not towards the bottom where they're not gonna reach light. And speaking of light, last time I flowered in this tent, I think the plants were about yay tall, so I should have no problem with them getting too close to the light. As for the lowers here, there really isn't too many nodes down here. Like I mentioned earlier, I've been keeping up. What worried me most last time was the distance that my flower ended up. However, since I know how much this strain is going to stretch, I kind of figured this is going to be a perfect setup. And I'm definitely on my way to reaching a pound in this tent. If not, I will be breaking my old record of 14 ounces. And alright friends, if you would like to see more of this grow, please hit that thumbs up and let me know down in the comments. But alright friends, like I always like to say, I don't want to take any more of your time because I want you to watch the rest of my videos. So until next time, this is Grass in Class, signing out. Peace. We got a call for an arm. Oh shit! For an arm. Oh shit! For an arm. Oh shit! Nigga, I was about to take off, bro. Woo! Cut the phone! You see how I cut the record, right? Get up!